A Wake County High School went under lockdown today after a student had a gun on campus. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco is live outside Broughton High School in Raleigh with more on what happened and what's being done to protect the students. Mac. Yeah, Angela, school leaders at this point aren't saying much, only that the student had the gun on campus. So again, at this point, it's unclear if the student actually carried that gun into Broughton High School or if a classmate gave it to them. But we know that the school is now increasing security. Raleigh police standing watch outside of Broughton High School after a student had a gun on campus. It was a little unsettling. School leaders got the report sometime this morning and then placed the building on lockdown. I thought it was like maybe something going on around the school that caused us to be locked down. I didn't think it was actually inside. inside. The principal emailed parents around noon to explain that a student had a weapon on campus for a short period of time before leaving and that the students involved were located by law enforcement. It's unclear what type of consequences they'll face. I asked the principal where police found them and how those other students were involved and am waiting for a response. It was a little, a little upsetting. They said it was fine that the police officers handled everything, um, but the student and the student had no intentions of using it. I asked Raleigh police what type of gun the student had and if it was loaded, but haven't heard back. This is at least the third time this year that a Wake County student had a gun at school. It happened at Cary and Enloe High Schools and now Broughton. I think the principal here does um, everything well. We love her and um, I think she handles it very well. Um, it would be nice maybe if Wake County started putting metal detectors in school. It seems like it's something needed now. so. Um, that would definitely make us feel safer. And Wake County schools do not have metal detectors. A spokesperson tells me at the moment there are no immediate plans to change that. Live in Raleigh, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News. All right, Mackenzie, thanks so much. Tonight, the Moore County School Board will get an update on a message filled with.